Hello, everybody. Dr. Incompetent here. Getting ready to resume this Let's Play Planet Zoo here in 2020. And this is my franchise mode attempt. I have just built this bridge over the hippo habitat to try to give people better viewing. Um, the scenery here is awesome. Looks like someone's gone on a rampage. That doesn't sound good. Sometimes people just get insane. And I don't know if that's just, you know, an artifact of humanity. And if you get a lot of people together, they're just going to be a crazy person. Or um, if that's, you know, not related to that. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead. Advanced research bonus. Um, do I want to, like, what happens if I just r do advanced research on a hippo? Does this give me some collective bonus to researching things later down the line? I'm just going to try this for a while and see what happens. Um, looks like someone's gone on a rampage. Did they break this TV screen? Son of a... Alright, I replaced it. Okay. So, what I always like to do... Somebody broke my TV. I mean, I need secu... You know what? That's the thing. That's what I need. I don't have any security cameras. Um, and so... Let's go ahead and tell people not to try to feed the hippos. I think that might be wise. Uh, like, do not feed them. Please. For the love of God. Don't throw food into the hippos. Now, um... I think I need to start putting up security cameras because we've got vandals and that's just not acceptable. So we're just throwing up security. Um, let me see if there's a heat map for security. Security and crime. Yes, there is. Um, well, it also happens to show the, like these signs show up. What is this? Somebody knocked over my trash can. Oh, wait, this ain't... This ain't gonna fly. We're gonna start throwing up security cameras everywhere then. We'll get this zoo on full surveillance. We're, Big Brother is coming in. What happened here? Did somebody mess with my... Yeah. We're going to have full-on Big Brother surveillance. This is what it takes. If people are going to get nuts and bust up my zoo, then I don't know if, how much you really need or, you know, but I'm probably scaring people away. But I really don't care. I'm tired of my TVs getting busted. Alright, let's have one here at this main entry. And then put one back here. Put one over here. Uh-huh. Now people know that Big Brother is on the case. Hopefully, this will discourage some level of crime. I'm trying to put them, you know, as discreetly as I can, but it's not always option. All right. So there we go. I have a bunch of money. Um, okay. So let's see if that actually does anything. Um, and then let's go back to the heat map, and then let's just check on um, guest needs. Uh, most people seem happy. What are you guys in the red for? 5% happiness. I can't believe one of us has been pickpocketed. Well, that's always going to bum you out. Staff happiness. How is the staff? The staff seem pretty reasonable. Ooh, okay, cool. Underpriced tickets. Well, let's shift them up then. Let's go up to like... Um, I'm going to go to $23 for adults and $18 for kids. What is 
going on mostly. Um, it's hot, and the education rating isn't as good as it could be. Um, all right, we need to boost that up. All right, we fixed that. Education rating. Well, we need to learn more about the animals that we have, and then we'll be able to get education under control. All right, so let's see now. Um, one thing I did envision, and this is probably, you know, really tacky, but what if I bump this path out uh, to the maximum width? Like, you know, maybe right here. Like this, yep. Yeah. And then... I think something like this. That when... Can I get it completely back? Yeah, there we go. In like an arc, like this. Okay, so now... Um, we have this amazing veranda. Um... And what I want to do with this veranda is go ahead and <laughs> get people some facilities. I'm going to see if I can put in a guest facility, a um, pip shop water. All right. So I'm just going to put up like a pip shop water right here. People can go behind this and look. Oh, it looks like you can't build it up here for some reason. I was, hope I was hoping maybe I could. I wonder what you have to do to be allowed to put it um, on this elevated pathway like this. Obstructed. Like, do you need concrete reinforced pylons? What if I just, like, raise it or lower it or, let's see, can I just put it here and then have it, oh, you can. I could just put it like this. <laughs> okay, so you can't build it on top of the path, but you can build the path to it. Now, I don't know how this is... Um, in, in the world of physics, how this is working, but it appears to be okay. Now, let's then just build this and then drag it all the way up and then rotate it correctly. Uh-huh, and then move it over towards us, over, up. All right, let me look. I think it's a little bit off center, so let's just rotate this slightly this way. That actually looks pretty good. Okay, so now there is this. So now people can buy something to drink while they're marveling at these hippos. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm going to try this. Now let's go to zoo, staff, work zones, the west work zone. We're going to edit it to include this and this toilet. Okay. And then let's actually go to the northwest work zone and include this facility here and this oops all right that was already on there all right and then let's unpause it let's just kind of see what happens if i put in a drink shop right here is anyone ever going to shop at this by the way i'm going to duplicate this and put it over here money we need money and then do i want to build like you know Ooh, the lions are about to mate. Fantastic. Do I want to build some plants, like, up here? It doesn't seem to make sense. <laughs> to have plants, I guess. We'll just pretend that they're, like, potted plants. And then we'll put in some daisies. around here to just kind of oops not like that yeah I like daisies just to give a pop of color 
we don't have to explain how they're working, they just are. They help conceal trash cans and things, make them not look as annoying. Alright. So now, um, look at this hippo playing with this snowman. Yes. How are you doing? You're pretty happy. What's the problem? You don't have enough space. Vet research is complete. Ooh, the red pandas are about to mate as well. Um, let me check it out. Uh-oh, let me pause it. Anaconda, that's good. Um, cool, we got a bunch of stuff for the pandas leveling up. What is the issue with the animals? The black bears are upset. You know, um... What I think is going to need to happen here, advanced research bonus. So, I don't know what that means. Maybe, like, once I do this enough, I'll get some kind of bonus. I don't know. I'm going to pause it, all right? And then I'm going to go take a look at the black bear situation. I wonder if I can build a path that goes underneath this um, staff facility this like or I suppose it's a guest facility so that it doesn't look as crazy that it's just flying in the air like if I could build some kind of pylon I don't see that as an option um maybe it's in like construction and I can build just architecture um no pylon there isn't one there isn't a support beam. Here's a beam. Like, you know, maybe I could just build some kind of cement beam coming out of the water that would look reasonable um, underneath this. It doesn't look very tall. All right, I'm not going to mess with it right now. What I am going to mess with is... I want to research barrier stuff so that I can just install all of this glass for the black bear exhibit, or at least a lot of it, to be uh, one way so they can't tell. But I don't think I have that yet. Glass. I've got now hedge barriers, which is sort of helpful. Um, anyway, they can just go climb up a tree. It should be okay. Show me which one is it. Yeah, he's climbing up a tree, so eventually he'll... That'll correct itself. Alright. Now, you've got all this money. Right? I, I need to have my animal rating go up. So let's just check the heat map and look at animal welfare. Make sure everybody is doing really well. I think these pandas we can improve. They're up in the trees here. No, that's the black bears. So, like, for example, these this is a black bear. Um, pandas are over here. Oh, my gosh, that's a lot of balloons that we're selling. The pandas are... Ooh, they are not happy at all. Um, they're stressed and trying to hide. Darn it, they're shy. Well, they should be able to climb up the trees at the very least. Um, but everything else seems okay. Your habitat is good. You are not stressed, or as stressed. So, again, um, I thought I produced enough, like, areas for you guys to climb. Let me see if you will climb. Oh, no. Lady Gold's about to die of old age. Uh-oh. We're about to lose. I thought she was about to mate. Let me look at her. Um, let me cancel this. She's in, the, yeah, she's, she is old. But she's pregnant. Well, let's see if she can ride out the pregnancy. Or if she's just going to turn into a box. Um, that would be sad. Animal died. That is awful. Lady Gold has passed away. R.I.P. Lady Gold. Um, well, let's call the vet. 
man. All right, well, time, you know, the circle of life. Well, that what that means is we need to get another lion, another female lion, probably. Um, yeah, she just lay down and perished. <coughs> that's, that's upsetting. Let's go to animal trading. And let's see if we can get, um another tiger, or I'm sorry, another West African lion. Filter, and we need, um, no, I'm not, I don't want any filters on this. Whatever listings you have. Do you have any women? You don't have any West African lions available at all. My goodness. Well, we're going to have to wait for that then. We do have a female in there that maybe can mate. But man, she... I wonder if they can save the, the baby. Probably not. That is a... That's a... Ugh. What a... I wish I could build like a monument, like a gravestone for Lady Gold. Okay, so people have umbrellas, um, and we did call the vet. I thought I called the vet. Um, died of old age. Oh, there is like a little in loving memory. Um, I know you guys are stressed. You have trees that you can climb up, right? Um, where are you from? Asia, temperate taiga. All right, so go to Asia. Go to temperate taiga and then okay so let's get back to it um i was trying to potentially produce something that would help these pandas not be so upset but it looks like they're going to be okay now we've got a just ridiculous amount of money let's look at what we want to build up animal rating maybe so I have extended this hippo habitat. I think there is an argument to be made for just making it larger because um, they don't like how small it is. Now, granted, I could just kick a hippo out, and it would probably be okay. Like, let me. How many hippos do I have? Barrier status. Oh my goodness! What is going on? Um, maintenance. Yeah. Oh, red pandas are about to mate. Oh, they're expecting offspring. That was quick. Not going to say anything about that process. Um, how many we got? We got seven animals. Uh, maybe we need to get rid of... Uh, some of these animals that are like older boys. Like this is a boy, but he's a juvenile. And then this is a boy, but he's a juvenile. And then she's really old and she's hungry. So maybe we get rid of a female to make some space, but we're gonna have to get rid of the, the boys when they mature anyway. Man, somebody is just a shame. That is a shame. Um, what is this? The animals are stressed? Okay. So first things first. Let's just go to zoo and go to mechanics research. Is somebody doing barriers? Habitats. Barriers. Okay, so these are being researched. Alright. So we're trying to get some mitigation for these shy animals. But in the meantime then, let's think about the next place to build a habitat. Or, I could get crazy and try to build something like this. So, what does this thing even look like? Sweet Moses. Look at this thing. What is this? Just a... I mean, it looks good, but what do you do with this? Do you put exhibits inside? Or is it just 
purely you know decorative oops what is going on with my animals okay the anacondas are probably upset because there's just too many of them right okay so let's go into the anaconda exhibit and let's just ditch some of the animals um We have, uh, well, who did we ditch though? And then the red panda is still stressed. All right, let me try building one more piece of cover for, um, these dudes, like, well, this probably won't do anything, but uh, I'm wondering if I already have this tree. Like, just maybe some kind of you know, bamboo such that I don't think they can climb the bamboo. I'm just trying to give them something else that they can climb and and go hide in. How about this broken pine tree? Anyway, so I'm gonna check that out and see if like, if you get up and go try to climb somewhere. Oh, now you seem to be okay. Well, you were distressed and were trying to hide, but now things seem to have flipped around. I don't know what did that, but whatever. That's good. All right. Um, okay. So, you know, some of these buildings, right? Like this classic building, it's just like an archway, right? It doesn't, it, yeah, these are just all decorative. Not the decorative is bad. I'm just thinking of things to, um, try to punch up the zoo with like new habitats or look at this we could put this like fountain in somewhere is there a place for this sure vet research is complete what did we finish all right so now we're good on that um Let's go ahead and just take down another disease, I guess. Um, the red pandas are still stressed. This probably is just not getting any water. And so it's not going to do anything. Am I correct about this? Uh, that we need water? Yeah, so I need like one of these things, but in a place that will not produce negative impact on guests. Like where could I put this that wouldn't just incense everyone? Actually, maybe down here. I don't know if this is out of bounds or not, but definitely if I put it back here, yeah, it's out of bounds. It would have worked. It would have worked. Um, I could build it in their habitat. <laughs> that doesn't seem like the right thing to do. Uh, you know what, then? That means that this is just not going to work. This... Um, that particular structure is just not going to work. Ooh, but this hippo thing is going to work. Yes, hippo statue. All right. Okay. Now, let's pause it and let's think about if I were to go to like get another animal, what would it be? Look, let's look at the market. And if I want the most appeal. It's red pandas, but let's look at um, cash listings and not conservation listings. Oh, I, I must have not done that properly. Filter, cash listings. All right, so it's hippos, mandrels. Well, we don't have grizzly bears. We don't have aardvarks. 
me look at Grizzlies. Um, I mean, this isn't a particularly good Grizzly to get. Let me get some Crocs. Turtle. Giant turtles. I do like turtles. Let me look at their Zoopedia stuff. So what's a turtle have to have? He's got to have... He doesn't even need swimming? Seems bizarre. He doesn't need that big of a habitat. He needs like a teeny barrier because he can't get out. Um, really what I want to just check to see is if they are... Um, relation with humans neutral. Can guest enter habitat? Yes. Does that mean I can put... I'm going to try this then. I'm going to get this animal and see if I can like build a habitat that guests can walk through. That they can see the... Alright, so let's go for... Oops. Um, no, I just want turtles. Yeah, giant tortoise. How many we got? And then what's their group size? One male, three females. All right, let's go back to that. And let's go adopt, adopt, adopt. All right, so now we got two females and a male. Um, and we can put them somehow in a habitat that guests can walk through. I've never done that before. Can they just go in this thing? Would turtles want to go in that? I don't know. I'm going to try it. So if I build this thing right there, okay, what happens inside here? Wow, all kinds of things happen inside here. Um, but the question is, can I make this a habitat? Like, can I put a guest gate, I suppose, that goes here? And into here will this secure like can I create a habitat out of this it doesn't connect to this very well so I'll mess with this some other time I don't think I can make this like a turtle habitat I think this might just be a fun times for guests to walk around in thing so let me just try to make a path that goes in here, for example, probably can't be this wide. How wide can it be? Oh, it could be wider. What is this? Can I delete these posts and then just extend my path? Yeah. Yeah, this is actually the way to do it. It looks a little zany in here, but we're going to get this. Alright. So people can now walk in here. Interesting. I have no idea about this. It just looks sweet, and I have a lot of money. So I'm just going to see if this improves my zoo in any fashion to have something like this. Alright, and then they can like loop back around here. Like that. Yeah. 
Okay. And then the path could, theoretically, loop um, around here. Can we catch up with this path? Yes, like that we can. All right. And then let me just, ex you know, extend this path a bit and then give people the opportunity to to loop around if they need to. Like that. And then this kind of helps me plan out the next portion of the zoo. All right. Now let's go inside here, and then uh, we're gonna terrain paint short grass all the way because we don't want this tall grass poking through. It's not the right stuff for in here. All right, so I guess you just deck this out with benches. I have no idea, but what I do know is I'm gonna need to go to staff and I'm going to need to go to work zones and then um, west work zone. We're going to need to add this. Oh, this doesn't even count as a facility that needs maintained. So I have no idea what's going to happen with this. Facilities, viewing devices. Let's go ahead and just keep people informed about all of the things that are out there. Oh, climate change, can't get them enough. All right. Okay, everybody, I think this is a good place to stop So, uh, for this episode. So we built this little doodad here. We built a giant glass conservatory that just looks amazing. I don't know if any guests are ever going to wander through it. Maybe we'll figure that out later. Um, call a mechanic, and we need to change the maintenance on this baby. Because... Yeah, time since last visit, one year. I changed it to every six months, and people aren't visiting it. It is in a work zone, right? Yeah, it is. So, anyway, we'll get to the bottom of that. But now the zoo is really expanding. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. I'd really appreciate it, and I will check you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Planet Zoo Franchise Mode. Have an excellent evening or day. Take care, everybody.